I'm a single stay at home mom. I spent nearly a year traveling in a van with my two children. I started my own business. We used to live on an off-grid farm. I don't by any means follow what one expects from a single mom. I think everyone thought I was going to get a 9 to 5 job right away and put my children in daycare. But I don't assimilate. And my children don't have to either. Just because it's the norm, just because people think that's the way you're supposed to do things, doesn't mean that's the way you have to do them. And usually, if you follow their way rather than your own way, you're going to be a lot less happy. You'll probably be burned out. You'll probably have trouble with being authentic. I'm teaching my children they can be whoever they want to be regardless of what people tell them they need to do. Of course, they always have to treat others with kindness and respect others' boundaries, but they get to choose who they are. No one tells them. See, I'd rather be the crazy lady living in her van than saying goodbye to my babies letting someone else raise them. I don't mind being the wild one, the one who lost her because baby, I've seen the life they want me to live and I just can't do it. So let me be the crazy lady living in her van. I'll homeschool these babies and raise them to understand. Sweet love's life's for living and the world is for exploring. What is it? Flowers! This morning for unschooling, we're going around and seeing all the different signs of spring and what that means. And we're also doing some plant identification of medicinal edible plants. We took all the curious children and made them sit still, telling them to memorize without allowing them to fill. They wanted to play and learn in their own way, but obedience isn't learned through play. So they took all the curious children and made them sit still, for they didn't care about wellness, just earning another bill. Whoever decided that the child should be quiet, controlled, calm, and patient, but also still well, does not know anything about child development. Play and movement, along with connection, are the basis for healthy child development. And for children who move and play, the children full of energy, when they are forced to stop and to internalize, they are not well. Adults full of anxiety and anger and depression, always feeling like they're drowning or have no control, were children who learned to internalize this early on. The children who could have been creatives, artists, athletes, were told they're bad because they won't hold still. We have a society that is broken, angry, unwell, and if we want to heal it, we have to start letting children be children. Let children play, let children move, let them express. Energy is not bad. Having a voice is not bad. Wanting to move and play is not bad. This is healthy child development.